Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Fizzy G here with another Team Fortress 2 commentary? Not really. It's um, a Team Fortress 2 training guide. What I've noticed is um, my last video got a lot of good feedback. Everybody's telling me it helped, and it is my most viewed video, so I decided why not? Let's make another one. Um, I will leave a link to my previous training video in the description, and basically it's just a secret method I've used to get rich over the years. Um, however, today I will not be doing such a thing. I will be doing a sort of trading guide, tips and tricks sort of thing. Um, what I've noticed is I've tried to find a video like this one on YouTube, um, where it trying to it doesn't teach you the basic things, you know, um, basic methods that everybody knows. You know, everybody knows buy um, buy low, sell high. Everybody knows that. Um, but t today this video is going to teach you more of the ins and outs, the uh, be more of, um, sort of tricks, you know, tips and tricks, how can I, how can I better put this, um, that will help you, um, get better prices, uh, get, get more profit, get rich, you know, all this sort of thing, um, just some methods, tips, tricks, things that not many people know about, or, you know, only the more experienced traders know about, I'm going to try and bring that knowledge to you guys today. Um, so without further ado, um, I'm going to jump right into the first, um, tip, which, um, is never offer first. I cannot stress how important this is and that a lot of people don't understand. You can never offer first on a trade. Now on outpost, this may be different as, you know, people set their buyout on an unusual, you offer on it, you, you gotta offer on that buyout. However, what I'm talking about is you go on a server and somebody has a craft hat you want, um, you should not offer first on that craft hat. You, you know, when you trade the guy, do not offer, hey, I will give you 1.33 for that craft hat. You ask, hey, how much do you want for that craft hat? And the reason I say this is, um, allow me to explain this to you. If it doesn't make sense, uh, stick with me. I will try and explain it the best I can. You see, um, craft hats are worth 1.33. And so 1.33 refined metal, that is. And so if you offer that to someone, perhaps that person is trying to get rid of the hat for one refined. And you go, you offer them 1.33 refined metal, they're gonna be they're they're gonna be sweet. You know, I, I can get rid of this for 0.33 more than I was looking for. And so that means that you could have made a, another 0.33 profit uh, on that hat. You know, you know they they're trying to sell it for one refined, and you bought it for one point three three refined. You see where I'm going with this? Um, you know, it's it's lost profit that you could have made if you had just asked how much uh, they wanted for that hat. And if this still confuses you guys, because I'm not sure if I'm explaining it correctly, um, leave a comment. I will try and explain it the best I can. Uh, I realize that that might have been confusing wording. Um, yes. Now, uh, my next tip is something that not a lot of people know about, which is try to invest in festive slash Christmas items. Here's why. Um, I've invested in a festive scattergun, a um, bee mock over the years, and let me tell you what happens with that. The BMOC, um, it's it is a unique uh, hat, and it is a Christmas hat. Or you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go with a festive scattergun here. Um, I have invested in a festive scattergun over the years. Now, uh, I bought it for around two keys during the middle of the year, around uh, July ish, last July. And when Christmas comes along, you know, uh, the, the prices of these festive items skyrocket, you know, my festive scattergun, which is a unique weapon, um, goes to about four keys, so that's two key profit right there. But the big thing is the BMOC, which was about eight keys, um, before uh, the Christmas hit. Once Christmas hit, uh, I will say this, BMOC went to one bud. So this is a great way to make quick, large amounts of profits. However, you do have to wait. It's kind of an investment, which I will be talking more about investments 
later in the video, and this is definitely one of the smartest investments because you always know that best of items are going to rise in price. And if you really have a lot of patience, you could wait two years and the prices would uh, triple. Um, so the prices on these items will drop in the middle of the year. Um, however, the more years that go on, the more festive items come out and the more, you know, when Christmas time comes, these items skyrocket in price and it uh, really makes them, uh, it really makes them a, a big, uh, a big uh, profit. Sorry. <laughs> All right, moving on. Now, my next tip will bring us back to this trade. Um, organize sets because I know it may take a while. I here I can show you the set that I've organized. It is a Zemetic set. It contains the Unusual Gentleman's Gatsby, a Vintage Physician's Procedure Mask painted Teen Spirit, a Strange Heat of Winter, a uh, Specialized Kill Streak Strange Blood Sogger, a Strange Blood Bot Killer Medigun, a Medic Taunt, a Specialized Kill Streak Ubersaw, and you know what this. Um, this set in particular will, will fetch me a price that it is not worth, you know? Um, I don't know how to say this while well, I'm making my set somewhere, but, okay, so, um, this set, I which I'm currently selling, hashtag plug, but, uh, no, this set, you know, uh, altogether, if you sell the items individually, um, the Gatsby, probably 1.5, two keys, uh, I don't know how much these are, but basically, the idea is, if you sell them as a set, you can get a better profit for them. You know, you can get more. You can add a couple keys to the top um, because you've organized a set for the person. So, you know, instead of selling what this actually is worth is probably uh, 45 keys and you can sell it for 50 keys uh, altogether. Moving on. Now, my next tip for you guys is to invest in keys. Um, I've seen keys go from about 5 refined to the upwards of 9 refined, and they've been right cautioning all over the place, um, their, their prices have been skyrocketing, they've been plummeting, you know, um, what I would try and do is, if a key ever drops to 7 refined, or 6 refined, or whatever, I would buy it, uh, you know, eventually the key will rise again, um, Keys are always going to be rising, it's just the thing, the way the TF2 uh, economy is built, uh, keys will always be rising, and, you know, sometimes they will fall, and if you can get them at a falling point, I would jump on it, because, you know, keys are, keys are skyrocketing, you know, you can make a big profit off of them, um, they are worth a lot, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't really know what else to say with this one. It's pretty self-explanatory. I know if any of you guys have been into the market for the past couple of uh, months, you know that keys have been all over the place. So, yeah, moving on. All right, my next um, and uh, final tip for you guys is about peers, uh, pure and quick sales. Now, um... Quick sales are great. Try and find quick sales as best you can and buy them. Now, however, do not get skimped on quick sales. You know, try and get the lowest quick sell for the best hat you can, because here's the danger about quick sales. Um, quick sales are only accepting pure. You know, they only want pure, and pure is very valuable in today's economy. Uh, everybody wants pure. Uh, pure meaning keys and. Uh, buds and whatnot, and um, so definitely uh, make sure that you're, if you are spending pure, do not accept anything but a quick sell, and make sure it's a good quick sell at that, do not buy a hat for full price at pure, because you can get a lot better for it, um, yeah, I think that's really all I have to say for this, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it uh, has helped you with your trading experience and, uh, you know, whatnot. If you would like to see more of these tips and tricks videos on TF2 trading, or just TF2 in general, or any other video game, I, um, I'm trying to, I'm thinking of making a Skyrim videos, you know, whatever, just 
Uh, subscribe to my channel. I will be making more videos, more gifted videos, more other video game videos if you guys want that. Um, and more training videos if, you, if this gets a good reception. Uh, I will see you guys.